Hi, I'm Natasha Williams from Quantum Change and I'm a Master Life and Transformation Coach and I specialize in helping people that are struggling with anxiety and depression as well as those in toxic relationships because the two actually are very closely linked. We're not people living in isolation. We actually need each other, not just to survive but to thrive. And I just want to discuss in this part on anxiety about how the brain actually works and how the brain develops as a result of being in a survival mode constantly. So we have an amygdala, which is our primitive part of the brain, and the amygdala is the part of that is the fight or flight response. It's the part that regulates your body, your heartbeat, your oxygen intake, all of those parts of your body that uh, keep it alive. And when, you're, when you are under threat, even at a subconscious level, that brain part will kick in without you even being aware of it. So let's say you were in a, about to be in a car accident. Before you've even had time to process the fact that somebody in front of you has stopped, your amygdala will have kicked in and your foot will be on the pedal already, on the brakes. So that part, if you have grown up in a in a space where you are feeling under threat then that amygdala will be hypersensitive and it will be enlarged just like you always if you go to gym and you're working your muscles your muscles will grow and they'll get stronger so your amygdala tends to be in a constant state of activation which means it's going to be stronger and override the other parts of your brain now what they've also discovered is the part that has got a very uh, important role in anxiety and depression as well as people that are in toxic relationships, is the hippocampus. And the hippocampus is situated under your temporal lobe, which is just behind uh, your, lo your frontal lobe is here, your temporal lobe is behind your ear, not that it matters. But it's inside the lining, and the hippocampus is that part of your brain that regulates your emotional state, as well as converts your short-term memory into long-term memory. And that happens primarily during sleep. Now, if you are in a situation where you're highly stressed, your body's releasing adrenaline and you are not able to sleep properly, so it doesn't allow the short-term memory to become installed into your long-term memory. And so you might find that you're experiencing um, things like losing your keys or forgetting people's names. It's the short-term memory stuff, and that's actually the trigger for Alzheimer's. And when your amygdala is in constant fight-or-flight mode, Everything else takes a, sec a back seat. So the hippocampus, which also regulates your emotional state, is also being put at a back seat. So you might be in an in a, in a, in a emotional state where you're constantly feeling stressed or anxious or, or, um, or hurt or in grief. And that part of the hippocampus is not able to regulate as much because your your survival mechanism keeps kicking in, keep kicking in, keep it kicking in. So what we try and do is we want it to change that. You can either do it coaching or you can have a realization where all of a sudden you will wake up one day, you'll have an insight and you will say, that is what it is about. I don't need to be able to be in this fight or flight space anymore, but when you're in a relationship where somebody is triggering that on a continual, ongoing basis, it never ends, that is constantly being triggered. And so, yes, you, your survival is at stake. And so you need to remove yourself from the toxic situation in the first place. That we'll get into in another video series altogether. But I just wanted to explain how the brain function actually works. It is reversible. Um, and it do, I suppose it would depend if you've been in a situation for 50 years and that is shrunk so small, you could actually lose those nerve endings. I do believe that our brain has a blueprint of your body in perfect health. If you lost an arm, it's not possible to regrow an arm. But if you've lost an arm, you do still have the nerve endings at an etheric level where you still have feeling. There are people that have had their legs amputated and they still have feeling in the leg even though the leg's not there. And so you can't regrow that, but you can alter the feeling state. And so if you haven't had your hippocampus removed or your amygdala removed, which I'm assuming you haven't, then it is capable of healing. And so that is what the aim is of my work, is to help you heal, not to treat it, not to 
um, you know, manage it because to me, managing it is just like I've discussed in the previous videos. It's just trying to he heal that one wave after the other wave after the other wave. And it's a never ever ongoing process. And life is about growing and learning and developing and always getting to the next level, the next level. But you don't want to keep going back to, into survival mode when you could be in thrival mode. I hope this video helped you. Um, in the next video, I'm going to discuss with you how you actually get that sense of belonging and that connection with your soul. Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Please like them or share or comment below and I will reply to any comments that I hear. I also do coaching. I do coaching via Skype or in person. Um, you can visit my website at www.quantumchange.com and I have got my list of pricing there and everything that you need. So go ahead, please subscribe and I will see you in the next video.